Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and welcome to a very special, very exciting, very controversial unboxing. I know exactly what's in this box. This is the new <laughs> Microtech SOCOM Bravo, the real deal, but it's made by Reich, which has, you know, people, everybody's already voiced their opinion about it. Um, let's just get into it. This is mine. Um, I'm, I'm actually really excited. Uh, thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. There's a link for Patreon right down below, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Wow, look at that box. <laughs> They really were just like, yup, this is where it's made. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, I know, you know, all, all sorts of comments are going to be down there. Um, let's get into this. Oh boy, this is exciting. Wow. So, um, oh boy. <laughs> it just looks absolutely gorgeous right off the bat oh let's have a look here we got some dirt and not dirt it's um pieces from the um the foam uh little black little pieces from the foam they're sticking all over it oh it definitely feels very solid so i have the um us i own a us microtech socom elite um and i've got it out here for uh for a size comparison today but uh here's the moment of truth let's fire it oh boy yeah. Oh, geez. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's real good. Oh, man. I don't, I mean, I, I, I knew, right? I mean, it's not the first time I've handled something from Reich. Um, they do a good job. And obviously, you know, a lot of how, you know, a lot of um, how well something is made will depend on the, um, you know, when you send the information over for the machines to do their thing, right? And obviously, Microtech knows how to do that. So, the, the how this translated is really good. So, here we go. Overall length appears to be the same. Uh, I'm going to guess the thickness and all of that will still appear. No, you know what? I think the handle thickness on the SOCOM... Elite is thicker, but the blade stock thickness is going to be the same, about 185 to 190 thousandths. Thumb studs look a bit different. Um, the pivot, uh, we have a, another, you know, a massive pivot. Here's something that I enjoy right off the bat. The hardware screws are not these itty bitty little teeny weeny dinky little silly willy ding dong um, T6. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a few people in laughing pits there. Um, I like T8, and that appears to be what we've got going on here. Look at the transition between the titanium and the carbon fiber. The carbon fiber looks good, by the way, real nice. Um, then we have the uh, sub frame lock, I guess. Boy, it is smooth, guys. Nice milled titanium pocket clip that, for whatever freaking reason, here's the freaking kicker. This just cracks me up. So... We got the SOCOM Elite with the tip-down carry pocket clip, and I know we got a few people in the, there's like eight people in the tip-down crowd going, oh, but I've got the tactical advantage. All right, cool. Um, the rest of us would have preferred probably a tip-up situation, right? Um, so we have this nice lanyard hole here. That's great. Um, they still were like, no, we really need that that lanyard hole <laughs> to be <laughs> prioritized. So you're all you're going to have to carry it with this big old, Freaking thing sticking out of your pocket. I mean, that's 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 annoying. Like, you know. But I will. I'll say this: the clip is an absolute uh, mega improvement, right? Um, these like double bent gooseneck clips that Microtech does. I just I find them totally pointless and ridiculous. I like this. This is fully 3D machined titanium. Looks gorgeous. Sorry, my camera's just losing it. My camera doesn't know how to deal with this either. It's also frustrated with the fact that, you know, here now in 2022, we are still, for whatever reason, prioritizing lanyard holes over pocket clip positions. Not to say that the deeper a knife carries, the better it is universally. I'm just saying, like, this is just too, you know, 
Like, put the lanyard back here. Put the lanyard hold, like, back here. Make a little bar work. Okay. That's my initial critique. But I will say, literally, the rest of this knife is so impressive. It is absolutely ridiculous. The action is just wonderful. It's very smooth. Oh, yeah. Now, my micro tie, I'll tell you this. A lot of people are going to go, but it's not fall shut, right? My Socom Elite does fall shut, and it's very controlled. This one feels a bit tighter. I imagine it'll loosen up over time. As I've said for years now, I don't, um, I don't determine the quality of action by whether or not it falls shut. A lot of times, fall shut action is nothing more than a parlor trick that has more to do with gravity and loose parts than anything else. What I like to feel is consistency. I don't want blades coming down and smacking into my finger. Um, I want to feel that whatever, wherever we are, that's, there's not too much tightness, but that there's consistency. So we're not feeling like gritty or bumpy or lumpy parts, right? And uh, that is the case here. Uh, action, I'm sorry, lockout is completely and totally solid. No question about that. No lock stick whatsoever. No pivot lash, very solid. And the detent is snap. Nice. Yeah, this is exactly what I expected it to be. And I'll tell you this, ergonomically, this, this, yeah, I do feel there's more material. There's definitely more material here. I'm feeling the pocket clip more than anything. The pocket clip is, sorry, tip down people. I'm sorry. It's, it's stupid. Um, that pocket clip, it makes way more sense. It would have made way more sense on this side, but the, not only did they put it on this side, but they made it flat and they knocked it down here. That pocket clip is just way better. I love that they kept the thumb studs going with the um, external stop thing. I love how this looks. All of this, or some people don't like this like body length backspacer thing. I think it's gorgeous. I think that just looks great. Normally, I don't like any color on my knives. And I, I will, I'll admit, if they had an option when I bought this to go with a satin collar, all they had was bronze and, and blue. And I was like, I'll go with blue. Like my last thing that the... the um, you know, the um, Shiro Goroff was in bronze, right? So I was like, I'll go blue. If they had an option for a silver one, I'd have gone that way. If I find that there's an aftermarket option <laughs> for a silver pivot color, I will absolutely take that blue out of there. It's okay. I just, I want it to be all, I want it to be monochromatic, right? Um, so, yeah. But uh, this this is so beautiful, right? Um, so people are like, which is better? Well, I mean, they're both great. I mean, like... The, the difference between the Bravo, right, right off the bat, the difference between the Bravo and the Socom Elite is, you know, the, this this is a production Bravo. Uh, the Bravo was made as a custom variant of the Microtech that's been made in the USA for a long time, but they just haven't done it. So they do this production uh, Bravo through Reich. How much does this cost me? 325 bucks. Do with that information what you will. Um, and uh, so then, but they've got this US version that's less money, right? Now I'll say right off the bat, obviously there's, uh, there's more, <laughs> um, what it caught the labor costs in this are obviously going to be less than the U S one, but there's a lot more in terms of machining and things like that. Like there's overall, there's more work that went into this, right? It's very beautiful and it's incredibly high quality. They're both good. This one has a lot of luxury features that are really cool and really nice, but totally unnecessary. Right. Um, Functionally, I mean, you don't need, I mean, truthfully, if we're going to argue about that, I think this isn't a review, by the way, it's just an unboxing, but if we're going to make this argument, the SOCOM Elite in and of itself is massively overkill for most people, right? We're already in overkill territory, so we're just arguing at this point, which is more overkill than the other, and it really just boils down to whether or not you're willing to buy something like this from a company who's known for making U.S. products. It is what, it, I'm the reviewer, right? So, uh, you know, I guess you can direct your frustrations at me, but I'm, you know, I'm here to tell you what I'm feeling between the two. And I will do that in a full comprehensive review of this guy a few weeks from now. Um, or it'll only take me a few days to really get a feel for it. But, you know, because of the way I schedule things, you're going to see it a few weeks in the future. First impressions incredibly impressive this is wildly impressive um it's definitely the nicest reich like I, i've handled some reich knives and they're impressive i've never handled anything like this i would never have guessed i would have thought you know like this is either a freaking stupid expensive u.s made ultra special edition 
you know, SOCOM. And it, I, I would have thought, you know, if you say, yeah, this is US made, I'd be like, oh, okay, so this is like a $700 knife or an $800 knife. Or I would say Riot did this for them. Um, no, it's Reich. Wow. Beautiful. Can you um, reverse flick it with the fuller? No, because that, that fuller barely sticks out, right? So it's really just a decorative. But I will say, because of how they have, sorry, let me get the little crusties out of there. Because of the way they've knocked those corners down in there, it really does look nice. This is apparently, it's listed as a bead blast. Boy, it looks, it looks a lot nicer than the bead blast that I'm used to seeing. Real nice, impeccable fit and finish. Just about what I expected. All right, there it is. The new Reichmade Microtech SOCOM Bravo. Does that mean Microtech is moving all of their stuff overseas? Uh, no, I don't know why. It's funny, it's kind of humorous to me that people think that. Uh, no, that's not what's happening. Um, they're still definitely making like the vast majority of their stuff in the United States. This, however, this particular thing, which is the SOCOM Bravo, this is the SOCOM Elite. This is the SOCOM Elite. Apparently, is still going to be made in the United States. SOCOM Bravo here will be made uh, overseas. So, anyways, I think that's going to be it today. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, seek out the comments section to get a you know fully up to date on the, all the controversy. I'm sure there'll be plenty of angry comments down there, as you know, as is the case whenever we talk about stuff like this. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, thanks so much for watching. Um, oh, how do you get a hold of this stuff? I think at the time, if you're watching this, at the time of this upload, Microtech on their Instagram has a post about this and how you can email them to order one of these right now. Now, if you're watching this years in the future or a year, a few months in the future, I don't know, maybe these are at retailers. Maybe there's a different way to get them. At the time of this upload, you got to email them. And then they, they email you back and then you give them your payment information. That's how they're doing that. So... Anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.